and welcome my dear students today we are going to see kinds of prepositions there are different kinds of prepositions that are preposition of time preposition of place and preposition of position so today we are going to learn preposition of time so let us see what is preposition of time the preposition which tells about a noun in terms of time is called preposition of time what is preposition of time a preposition which tells about a noun in terms of time it is called preposition of time so preposition of time is used to discuss time like months days hours seasons and general time during the day so examples of preposition of time are on in at by from since during for till until ago before after etc these are the prepositions of time let's move towards next slide now let us see the first preposition of time that is at now when do we use at at is used for a point in time at particular time for example we shall meet at 6 o'clock so 6 o'clock it is a point of time particular time is given here so before that we use preposition at he came at midnight he came at midnight so similarly we can use at with at dawn at sunset at the end at the beginning etc so to show the point in time we use preposition at now at is you also used before festivals we have a holiday at diwali similarly you can say we have holiday holiday at holi at christmas at new year etc so before festivals also we use the preposition at now in these sentences the preposition at denotes time so it is called preposition of time the next preposition is on now when do we use on on is used for a particular day whether it is a date that is on 5th june we can say on february 14th or for a day also we use on on monday on a special day etc on is also used for a particular part of such days as described above i will come on the night of 10th july so on on the night we will meet on friday afternoon so before date or day we use the preposition on on monday on tuesday on saturday next is the third preposition of time is in in is used before a period of time for example in winter in summer or before the name of month like in january in february you can use in before the name of a month before the name of season 
बिफोर द ईयर और बिफोर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दैट इज इन द मॉर्निंग इन आफ्टरनून इन इवनिंग एक्सेट्रा लेट एस सी एग्जाम्पल आई फर्स्ट मेट हिम इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव नाउ यू आर टू थाउजेंड फाइव ईयर इज मैंशन सो बिफोर दैट वी हैव यूज द प्रिपोजिशन इन क्रिकेट इज प्लेड इन इंडिया इन विंटर सो इन विंटर नेक्स्ट इट इज ऑल्सो यूज टू शो द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट एन एक्टिविटी और ऑपरेशन सो द टोटल टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट वन एक्टिविटी टू शो दैट ऑल्सो वी यूज इन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ट्रेन विल गेट यू फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू चंडीगढ़ इन फोर आवर्स सो द फोर आवर्स इज द टोटल टाइम फॉर कंटिन्यूइंग द जर्नी फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू चंडीगढ़ सो टू डिस्क्राइब द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट एन एक्टिविटी वी यूज द प्रिपोजिशन इन next preposition is during when an action or situation continues for some time during is used before that specified period if some actions or situation continues for some period of time so for that we use the preposition during For example, we enjoyed ourselves during the vacation. So, vacation is a time people work during the day. During. So, working time, the action of working is completed. Ah, uh, it continues for some time. So, we use during. let's move ahead fifth preposition that is by now by is used to denote the ultimate point by which something was or is to be completed to you it is used to denote ultimate point by which something was or is to be completed for example i have to complete the work by monday means up to that time the work should be completed so for that we use by the application should reach by 14th february next use of by by is used with day and night when it means during so with the day and night when it means during we use by for example he traveled by day and slept by night so during day he traveled during night he slept so to indicate during with day and night we use the preposition by next is for for is used before a time phrase to denote that so much time has passed during which an action or situation continued so how much time has passed to complete that action to denote that we use the preposition for for example i have not seen him for 2 years so 2 years time has passed and so to denote that past time use for next example we waited for an hour but he did not turn up for so the time of an hour has already passed and so to denote this past time or uh, the situation continued for up to that time so to denote that we use the preposition for
Now let us see some important points. The prepositions at, on, and in are not used if the noun giving time has an adjective with it. So if a noun has adjective along with it, then we don't use the prepositions like at, on, and in. Let us see example. He met me last Sunday. Now I told you before the name of the day, we use the preposition on, right? But now here, before the noun Sunday, the word last is an adjective. So when the noun giving time has an adjective. Now Sunday, Sunday gives tells us about the time, right? But it has an adjective with it, that is last. So when the noun which gives the time has adjective with it, we don't use the prepositions like at, on or in. Next example, we will come again next Diwali. Now see here, the time giving noun is Diwali. But before there is an adjective next. And so we have not used any of these prepositions. Next example, we go for a walk every morning. Now morning denotes time. So here again the adjective every is used. So we cannot say we go for a walk every morning. It would be wrong because there is an adjective before the noun which denotes time. Next example, I will be 20 next June. Now here the noun which denotes time is June. I have told you that before the month we use the preposition in. But here before the noun there is an adjective and so we don't use the preposition in here. Okay. Next, yesterday, today and tomorrow do not take a preposition. That is also a very important point because these nouns also denote time but they do not take any preposition. I will come again tomorrow. You cannot say I will come again on tomorrow or I will come again in tomorrow. No, wrong. So before the nouns like yesterday, today and tomorrow, we do not use any prepositions. Okay. Next example, you met me yesterday. So there is no preposition before yesterday. He is arriving today. So there is no preposition before today. So when we use the words like tomorrow, yesterday, today, these words, these nouns do not take prepositions before it. I hope you have understood what are the prepositions of time.